we don't we don't want everything. Yeah, I do. I go on Facebook, you know, yeah. read what people are putting on. I don't. Sometimes I'll phone. I'm pissed off. I'm sick. Oh, I know. Oh. Billy, sorry, I've got you on there. Do you mind your face? No, can you get that? No, not yours. You're not on there. <laughs> Right guys, um, sorry we, uh, my battery died, again, the pens have been such amazing people, they've actually went and got us a charger, he's not welcome back in this house, they're so nice, I, I want to say that as well, I swear, if I find anybody coming to this dress, um, or causing the, the mother, the father, any brother, sister, any grief will, will come by you, will sting you, it's best than nothing, she's even went and got us a charger, so I charged me phone to expose our own son because she knows exactly what you've done, doesn't she? I've not done Sean, anything. how are you, mate? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. You're not being serious. Your mom's just proved it, man. Seriously, your mom's just proved it. And she's that much of a nice person. She's gone and got me a charger so I can stand in the front door so we can still carry on with our job. That's how much she believes us. How are Sean? Just be honest. I am. You're not. You're not. The quick. generally are. <laughs> I did see that in the way though, didn't I? I did that. Yeah. So yeah, this is absolutely <laughs> shocking. You. Singles, the family are amazing. The family are. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, it's fine. If it's freezing, then it's freezing. The police are generally quick, but we don't know. Obviously, there might be stuff going on today. Um, do you want to read through some of them? Because I can't. Can you read them? You can't read. No. Oh. Where's. Uh... I can't read the chat one because I forgot my glasses. You know, I'm blind, unfortunately. I'm not blind enough to find this fella here. It took me a long time to find you. We sold everything. Your Facebook, everything. And the sad thing about it, which I will talk to you about. Yeah, just to let you know as well, guys, the mum and dad are actually looking for his phone at the moment. He has told them there's a few places you probably did hear the dad come out saying that he did want the phone. Um, so they are now in the, in the house in the process of finding this mobile phone um, for the simple fact that it's going to be easier if he's got his phone than the police coming in and raiding his house when he's got his mum and his brothers and sisters and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. Oh, you can do whatever you want, okay. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, they'll deal with him, they'll come back. They'll take him away first. Oh, wait, I'm really sorry. No, 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 no. No, 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 they won't. No. Hey, what? Oh, <laughs> no, uh, um, I can't give you a time or anything like that, but they the, the will do their bit. But yeah, that's absolutely fine, my love. Um, I'll let you know when they're here. Any day I look with that phone or not? Still looking. I will, Sarah. She's an absolute star. Uh, the pain only lasts for 10 seconds when you lose virginity after it's called pleasure. And anal sex only lasts for, you know, there's a bit of pain with anal sex, but then it goes away. 10 seconds. And also, also, when you do lose virginity at the age of 13, you are then classified as a woman. You You're not on it, face name. That's what you're I actually nicknamed you the gynecologist. So you must have been sat there with a book. I no, but the thing at the same time is, is um, whether it's his or not, what he's done is it's an offence itself because he sent it to a child under the age of 16. So whether it's his or whether he's Googled it, he's still yeah. spent, sent an explicit image um, and pornographic images. He actually sent a porn video of a woman masturbating on a, on a pillow. Um, I know, love. If you want, what we can do is we can have a word we after this and just explain everything off the camera as to what's been going on a little bit more calmly. 
I don't mind doing that before we go because we, we, we don't normally go out the police station but about half an hour afterwards. So we, I honestly don't mind having a little chat. We can come in, we can make sure you guys are all out, we can explain what happens, what's going to happen next. Do you want no, you don't. You'll, you'll be fine, honestly. Ah, well, if they're your sons, then... Ah, well, he'll not be here, so... Yeah. Mm. Well, that's what we're here for. We would have to protect him, then, you see, whether that's his brother or not. I know, but it's not the point. It would just blow, it would blow the whole case out of the water. <coughs> Yeah. I've got seven. Back down. Honestly, calm down. Let's see. Once the police come, um, we'll take them away if you want. We'll come in. We'll have a five, ten minute chat with you. We'll explain what's going to happen next. Um, and we will explain sort of the processes. I know you don't want to back there, Don. I know. I know he's not welcome back. Did you hear that, Sean? Did you hear that? It is proven. Your mom doesn't want you back here. You're gone. You're not welcome back yeah. So again, to the guys that are watching this, he's not welcome back this house, we'll leave this house alone. He's not welcome back. His mom has just literally said he is not welcome back in this house. She is a star. What we're gonna do is, is um, once the police come, <clears throat> we're gonna have another 10, 20 minutes in the house with the mom and dad, and then we'll follow the police down. I'd appreciate it, thank you very much. Just letting them know that we're going to have a half an hour with the mom once he's been taken away to explain the process. We're not going to, we're not going to leave her hanging because she's an absolute star. Oh! You were in the kitchen, you were in the kitchen, you took a photograph of the envelope, and someone else walked past you, took a picture, sent it. And walk past us. I, I'm Absolutely I'm amazing. The I know I the kitchen too. You never left the kitchen. So you yeah. stayed in the kitchen while you took the photograph. Goodness to why you stayed so in the kitchen. So, so, so you did take a picture in the kitchen. You just said exactly. So you did take the picture in the kitchen. So who, who, took the picture, who took the picture in the kitchen then? Who took the picture on your phone to send to this? Let me ask you the question again. Yeah, who took the picture on your phone to send to us to tell us where you were? You don't know. So so what you're saying is that you've got a poltergeist in your house? I could have took that picture. When I'm cooking food, I never ever leave the kitchen. You never left the kitchen, so I it must have been your hand. Whilst you were cooking, inadvertently, you must have gone, oh yeah, yeah, click, send, blah, 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 I'll carry all the fish into you. You couldn't have sent it. How did we get it? How do we know you're here? How did we get it? How did we get it? How did we get it? And then five minutes on after that, knock on the door. How did we get that photograph of the letter did of your address? Really How has. did we get it? You don't know. You do know. You took the picture and you sent it and then carried on cooking your dinner until the knock on the door. From us. Yeah. Now where's your phone? You don't know where your phone now. You your mom your, your mom has been looking everywhere for your phone. You had it when you were coming. Where is your yeah, phone? When you come in, you booted it somewhere. Yes. If I had it on us in the kitchen, it would be on the bench. We've checked the benches. We've even checked the bin. We've checked the dining room. We've checked your case in the sitting room. We've checked everything. It's not there. I'm not crazy, Sean. I know you think I am, but I'm not. Look at you upsetting your mum. Just tell her where your phone is. It's probably on him. You probably got down his pants. We've got no, we, we've got no authority. Got his pants. Why? Are you like this all the time? Mm -hmm. Is this how you treat your mother all the time? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Are you positive about yes. that? Because I think you're lying about that as well. Do I treat you like shit? It's got nothing to do. It's nothing to do with whether you do or you don't. You're doing it right this second is what you're doing. This is what you're doing now. Look at the poor woman. Sean. And you'll get a fuse. I don't know. Look this woman in the eye and tell her where your phone is. The truth, Sean, I don't know. Have you got nothing to hide? Where is your phone? I don't know. You drive me crazy. Where's this phone? The kids are even hunting for it. So you've got it on you. I haven't. You've got it down your pants. Yes, they're tucked in your pants. I've seen the sign of his uh, size of his. Apparently, it's not. Apparently, it's not. So, I'll have to nickname you the gynecologist. Peewee. Peewee, the gynecologist. So, why did you send the picture that way? You had a third. Yeah, it was a tripod. 
Imagine this, Sean. Imagine if we were the parents of this child that was knocking at your door. Do you think we'd be as nice as this? Do you think your mum would be as welcoming? See, if, if, I was a parent, if I was a parent of one of the children that you were actually talking to, you see that fence there? You'd have been paled on it. But we're not vigilantes, we don't do that. We'll investigate, we investigate people like you to expose you for what you really are. And we hand all the evidence over to the police. And the police will then take you to court and we're hoping the judges will do the right decision. You don't know what I mean. You don't know where your phone is. You don't know how somebody walked past you, took a photograph and sent it to us and then five minutes later we're knocking on your door. It's amazing. That guy is absolutely fantastic. He is one hell of a hacker to have been inside your house at the same time. You've got split personality. Mm -hmm. Does one, one hand do something different to the left hand? Can I just ask a serious question? Have you got any sort of mental uh, disabilities? Are you, have you got a registered carer? No. No, no to you. No, no, so you haven't got any sort of disabilities that we should be aware of. There's nothing wrong with you. Yeah. Your work I just wanted to clarify. You know what I mean? You work fine. See, a few no years ago, I was. I had to get some tablets for depression. Right, well. It was a while ago, so you're not depressed now. You're just unfortunate. Depression doesn't make you groom children either. Give them a run around. Now, what happens if it was a 13 year old child from Newcastle himself? Yeah? I'm depressed. I'm just pulling in order. The last ones I've done, the longest one I've done, is 18 minutes. Never, never, never. Up and down the street. The thing is, if he doesn't, if it isn't easily found, we are going to turn the place upside down. And also, you don't tell us. And you don't want that. Sean, I want to know where the phone is because I'm going to rip my house apart to find it. So please tell me now. If you've got any respect or any love for your man, tell her. Don't treat us like shit. So please tell me where your phone is. I went to the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. He knows where it is. Unfortunately. Mm. Is that before you took the no, bus as well? I didn't take the phone. Oh, yeah. He did come straight in the door and go to the toilet. See? Well, yeah. <laughs> your, your ablutions have got nothing to do with us. The person that took the photograph and then five minutes later we knock on your door. Yeah, so it's within that period of time. No, is where he was. I was outside the door. Is it there? Wait, Sean, it's not the same. Tell us where this phone is. It's no good one. Tell us where the phone is. You don't know, tell us now. I'm not having the house ripped apart for you. The only other place I can be is. You've said this four times. And the place is I've been in the sitting room, the kitchen, the bathroom, and the. We've checked the day. You've been in the bedroom. In the kitchen. No, he's never been upstairs. He hasn't been upstairs. So where's the phone? I don't know. Is it in your pants? Tell us the truth. I'm checking Is it in your pants? The police are going to find it, so you may as well be honest. I'm checking pockets. I said your pants, not your pockets. Yeah, I'm checking pants. No, is it in your pants? Can't you see it? 
Rachel, where's it then? Stop acting clever now. I'm not acting clever. You're really driving his man down, so where's this phone? You do know. You do know it's a don't lie. How do I know the phone is? Because you fucking had it. I had it when I came in. Rachel, your bag was on the table. Your charger and your phone are not there. The charger's uh, sitting, sitting on the... Yes, I found your little charger. I found your razor bag. Yeah. The phone is ringing. So the phone is ringing. So, it's some, ringing. so right. we've got somebody ringing the phone now when it's ringing. Cheers, Kong. Phone is ringing. Kong is asking what network. Well, what network are you on? O2. O2. Kong, it's O2. Hey, is it Kong? Sorry. Or was it Poppy? Sorry, Poppy. Poppy, my darling. Sorry. The phone is O2. Auto on Vodafone. Auto on Vodafone. It's so it's a dual sim that you've got, is it? Ah, that's uh, convenient. But I've only ever used my phone when it's connected. So you've got a, v so it's a Vodafone and it's an O2, so it's a dual sim. So may I ask why you've got a dual sim? Why you got two? It's just the way it is. I got the O2 sim when I got the phone. I got the Vodafone to my mum last year. So why you got? Because she got a new one. Mate, this is not adding up. None of it is adding up. Not one bit of it is adding up. It saddens me. Can this O2 Messenger? O2. There you go. Well, you've got two numbers. Aye, Vodafone. Vodafone one's off, I think. Aye, so it's the O2. Poppy's going to try it again. She's seeing what it is. You did say it was dead though, didn't you? Yeah. I said it was Well, that's what she's trying to establish as to what network. When I was in the phone. And what are the three ones you want to use? Don, I've got to tell you that everybody that's watching absolutely adores you. Um, they've got a lot of respect for you and a one lot three, of love. Three, three, one. And that'll be the... O2? That's your joke number? Yeah, there you go. O2. No, it's alright. That's, it. that's nice. It's fine. We'll, we'll confirm. In fact, has anybody got the number that we can just confirm with his mum? It's ringing. It's ringing. So somebody must be trying it there. You're not going to hunt. So your mum is, oh, your face is dropping now, kid, isn't it? You know what, what, what really saddens me? I can understand why you deny it, and um, why you try and get away with it. But what I can't get past and understand is why you'd be willing... The mum is amazing, guys. We are going to spend about 20 minutes, half an hour, before we go to the police station um, with the mum um, to explain exactly what's happening. Uh, because, bless her, I mean... You can see him, he's got no remorse, he's in absolute denial about it. He's lying through his back teeth. You're lying, mate. I'll not speak to you as nice as these. You're lying. I'll tell you one thing, you don't have to cook me dinner again. Right. Tell him to stay away, the police on the way. If he comes down and does anything, he'll ruin the case, he'll get away scot free. Alright, please do that. If he comes down, we'll explain, don't worry about it, that's what we're here for. However, that would be easier. One of the brothers has just been on. Um, we'd rather he didn't come down if you're watching. Um, we have got this dealt with, um, the police will deal with it, we don't want the case ruined. <laughs> Isn't it? Honestly, the amount of hearts that you're getting, darling, off this is amazing. Um, I've never seen so many, look at them all. They're all for you. All for her. You got any inside pockets there? or? It's funny how, I mean, me personally, I always know where my phone is. I, I always know where my phone is. Always. <coughs> well, them hearts, man. Honestly, your mother is getting so many hearts because she's had to put up with the likes of you and you can't even try enough respect to tell her where your phone is. You're a disgrace, mate. An absolute disgrace. So, Sorry. I was still going down the lines that's not you, guys. Let me just go and see if I can find this invisible man. Yeah, yeah, he's probably got his phone as well, to be fair. We hear these excuses day in and day out, my phone's been hacked, somebody's at me. No, the sister didn't take it. He mailed me the hack before, so I deleted that and the new one. But because that's on the CV, I send the CV out looking for work. I don't know what's going on. Alright, so, so all that's aside then, everything you say, your phone's been hacked, 100% believe you. How did we get that copy of that letter? Have you call yourself Peter on any of these apps? Peter. Peter. Actually got one of my decoys question thinking she's got you on an app. Um, Don't mention that. No, no. Um, does gynecologist ring a bell? On one of yours? Yeah. Is this him? Yeah. Willow, um, yes. 
that, that's him. I think we've got you as well, mate. No, 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 not Peter. This was a different one. We've got two. The other one. I think we've got, I think we've got another one on you. That's my team. Oh, it's not looking good, son, is it? What do we mean? We've explained what we mean. You're starting to annoy the hell out of me now. Mate, forget Peter. We understand that it's not Peter, but the guy in the college this one, I've just had confirmed from him, is you. So we've got you too, if that's right. So, mate, your ship is, ship is sinking very fast. I really do not know what is going on. You don't know what's going on? Well, we've explained what's going on. Your mum knows what's going on. Your dad understands what's going on. The only person that doesn't know what's going on is the person that's done it. I'm trying to... I'm trying to look 13 year old, right, so you're admitting it now? No, I'm saying that's what you just said to me. You that's what we've got the evidence. Yeah. Me, don't know, it's just one of them. She's not giving up. I'm saying him, please. I know. She says, um, Jody Shaw. Jody Shaw. Jody Shaw. She says, I've never ever watched it, I've just seen the clip. Mm -hmm. She's not seen. Yeah. See your sister Naz, so she's watching. She says, Imagine how she feels. She says to me, keep away from it all because your face will burn it. So what? So you can't go into your sister's house either? It's me, his son's girlfriend. And has she got kids? Three boys. And has he been around them? No. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. But you're not welcome in her house either now. So, is reality starting to kick in? He's bought from every house, he's not coming back here. And your dad's just said that you're bought from every house. You're certainly not welcome back here. Now's your time to start being honest and know this isn't going to help you. I think if you were honest, they may have give you a little bit more leeway and respect. But because you're point blank denying it. Because you say go on this and it's going live. Aye? Uh, do you know why? Is it a hired out? Mate, whether we went live or not, you'd be getting hired out. This going live has got nothing to do with it. The reason we're going live is A for your protection, B for my protection, and C to expose you for the person that you actually are. A sexual predator who has been sitting here trying to chat up two 13 year old girls in a house. Full of children, you're a disgrace, you're sick mate, honestly, you're half. You're, you're, <sighs> ugh, I don't even want to get into it. You can stand there looking at me as much as you like. Your mother and father are in there, rooting their turn out a bit so the police don't have to. And you're standing there and you're going to allow it. You're going to allow them to go through even more trauma than what they're already going through because you know that on that phone, is all of that information? You know that. I want the phone. I want some phone, and you know who to come and get it off you. No names, please. I know. That's why I said. So I want the phone now. This is what I'm about. Sean. I was watching the show box on my phone and then you thought I went to make me food. But it's not there, so you've hid it. How and you've hid it in a bloody good place. That's me. That's me. Go and pat him down if you want. I see this. No, no, we'll put the cameras down if you want to have. Have you seen the size of the house? I can imagine with the amount of children that you've got, it's going to be Caddy Bigler. Yeah, excellent. Tell your mum where your phone is. Just tell us it solves any problems. There's obviously somebody that you're very scared of that she's going to ring and tell him to come and get it. So either you tell her where it is or that person's going to end up having to come down. Just tell us where the phone is. Or the police are going to raid a house. Do you think I'll get my house ripped apart for a party? I don't want to get ripped apart. It's going to happen. But you tell us where it is then. I'm trying to think. Remember where it is? The last time I see it, I was on the table and then... It's invisible, isn't it? It's invisible. Man came and took the phone and wrapped it. Hang on a second. Oh, yeah. Somebody else has come forward as well. Somebody else from what looks to be KKS. Which is another big team from down the country. Yes. Aye, keeping kids safe. Keep safe. The decoys, and this is why we go live. This is why. So oh, they keep coming it? and coming. So there's not just the two that we've got you on, there's one in my team and there's one at her team. So that's four that where? we know about so far. Where? Tell your ma where the phone is. Just tell us where it is, man. You're in enough trouble anyway, so this doesn't make any difference. Like, Just tell us where it is. It? Yes, it's gynecologist. Yeah, that's what he's down as on the app. Um, yeah, that's what his username is on the app, gynecologist. I know, I love. Can you, can you tell us where it is? No. Tell us. Tell us? Tell us. Do you like a simple? It should be there. Anyway, as being a gynecologist, how long have you been studying to be a doctor? I'm not even a gynecologist. How long have you been studying that? You might not be qualified as yet, but how long have you been studying it? Never. Well, I'll tell you what, you want to be a doctor, you want to become a guy. What we'll do is, guys, um, I'm going to... 
<laughs> if there'll be any decoy you want to inbox our page or first lane defence, um, we'll drop the email for the police um, as and when. This is all I say. Sit down your shoes. Did you know we were coming? Stop saying, 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 stop stop saying, 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 stop I don't know. I am not having police coming into my house and pop up my kids in for a sake of a poxy phone. So tell us now. Is that the location, sir? I could have been in there from the. Like I said, I came in. I went to the toilet. I went then. I went to the kitchen. I went back then. You're just a pathological liar, aren't you? Just, just look at him, guys. That just a liar. Guilt. A face of pure guilt. A liar. Guilt. A liar. A deceiver. No respect for the mum. Nothing. <laughs> It's alright, he's been barred from every single member of his family's home, which I'm very, very happy about, because I've heard some of them have actually got children, so fair play to them. And I would have won an army, it's not the point. You're not going back to none of them, I'm going to tell you that now. Fair play to them, fair play to them. You've got 1,400 people watching on mine, I don't know how many you've got on his, but you, you will not be welcome around here again, I'm telling you. But I've not ever seen them. No, sorry. Uh, before them, before me and sisters of Rockies, but I've never yeah, that's fine. Even that's good, eh? It's a good job they've never seen them. It's a good job they've never seen you. You're a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. To your mother. Do you know what it is? If, I was, if that was my mother, and I was in your position, and I seen the look on her face, and how helpful she's been, and how angry and annoyed she is, you know what it is? I wouldn't be putting her through any more. I would be... I would be telling her exactly where that phone is and I would be taking me punishment like a man and I would never darken her doorstep again. But you, on the other hand, you're winding me up. That's what you're doing. Mm. Right, right. Just uh, get uh, Craig here a second. Come here. He's a... Uh, no, no. Sorry. I thought I was coming down. Right, mate. So, we're going to have to keep an eye out now. Mate, can you just let us see what we're doing? So... There's no sign home, mate. Um, it's no, indeed not even the address, because the address has nothing to do with it. It's him, not the address. Him. He's not welcome back here neither, so it didn't worry about it. Right, so just leave this address. Because he's not coming back, he's not welcome back here, they've said. They, they can't, so if you could pass away to run, we would not mind, you've got freedom of speech, but if you're not, please leave the address. <laughs> right, well, mate, have a look on Jordy Chaser's page. Jordy Chasers in first line defence. And get sharing. See mate, we haven't got any badges or anything, but we stand here and people know. People know. And we haven't had to say anything. We haven't had to tell anybody where we are. He was just driving past there. And he knows. Five decoys. There's five decoys on you, Sean. Five. That's a lot. Of <laughs> That's a lot of <laughs> nah. Of and, five. And he's still saying no. Nah. He's still saying no. Nah. This, I'll tell you what, this ghost, what I want to meet this ghost. Can you introduce me to him, please? Can you introduce me to what, him? I, I just need to know. You, you said that you've been hacked, yeah? Your Facebook, your phone, everything's been hacked. That's what you've told us, yeah? Mm. And you're in denial. These five girls that you have been speaking to, sorry, your ghost friend has been speaking to, can you introduce me to him? What, 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 what's his name? You're not sure of his name? Or, 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 didn't he tell you? Did he want to be secret? You're not sure what his name was. Come on, you must know what his name is. Come on, what do you call him? What do you call your ghost friend? If I had a, if I had a ghost friend, I'd call him probably Nigel. How long have you been there? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'd probably name him Sorry? Nigel. Sorry? Nigel's a good name. For I don't know. Him, isn't it? So Nigel's come in. Wait, he's not going to do that to him, is he? I don't know. 
Like if he is, I'm gonna drop this phone, I'm gonna have to jump on him and, and protect him. You do know that. So I'll have to take a kick and buy your son for him. You do understand that, don't you? Right, well I'll prepare myself. <coughs> Sorry? He's getting rid of me now. So, 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 I don't know. So your, so your, so your ghost friend is the one that keeps in touch with the other, the five girls. Then. So why, so why is this we've got, ghost we've got, friend of yours? We've got security on it. Don't worry about it. Have you asked him? You should ask him. I'd ask him. If Nigel was using my, my messenger, I'd love to know who he's talking to. So have you ever asked your ghost friend who he talks to? You haven't thought about that, have you? You haven't thought about asking him. That, that's, pretty, that, that's pretty stupid, that is, because you've let your ghost friend go on your phone to use your messenger to message these five girls. Yeah? He's not much of a friend, was he? Oh, so what do you call him, anyway? What do you call him? Anyway? To be fair, can I just say... Close friends and family, that's it. I know, we've seen it. Can I just jump in here? Right, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say this your brother's on his way down. How do you feel about that? What I'm gonna say to you is, is if he does come, if he does do anything, I want you to get in that corner, I want you to go down into a ball, and we're gonna jump on top of you, and we're gonna take the kick, and if that's what he's coming down for. Alright? All right? Excuse me. Yeah. He's only like that. It's alright, it's not the point. We, we need because if, if he gets a finger laid on him, the whole case is knackered. I'll have to go out and stop That's again. fine, my love. And as soon as you do that, we'll put our cameras down. You will not be on this at all. We understand. We're, we're, we're here for you. I wonder if I get Nigel to hold my phone. Nigel, can you hold my phone? Because my hands are freezing. You know what's happening, mate. Your world's going to come down. I don't think Nigel's hands are freezing because he's a ghost. So, what do you call your friend? He takes your phone. The message, I'm messing with. He's five decoys. Craig. He's like that, but just keep your eyes open. He's like that. Is that him? Right. Yeah, he's here. Sorry guys, we've just had to stop the brother absolutely destroying him. He was going absolutely mental, took three of us to restrain him. I'm going to put the camera down because obviously I don't want his mom on there. He's calmed down. He's alright. Tell your mum where the phone is, yeah? Tell your mum where the phone is. Be a man for a change. Be a man. I've just left my phone on there, right? Just be a man, it's all here. There's a little snibbler. See, watch the field. I can't believe your mother is having to do a bloody check on you. Where's the phone? Oh, that's a phone on the table. Sean, we've searched the rubbish bags, the bags, the table bags, everything. The toolbox, you name it, we've searched it. Please, just tell us where the phone is. Please. Now, 
please, John, I'm begging you, please just tell us where it is. For the sake of your brothers and sisters, and right? come on, please tell us where it is. Tell I'll take the panic attack. Yeah, I can't do this. Now, please tell us where it is. Please tell us. Tell us, please. Tell us where it is, please. I had it back here. Please tell us where it is. Tell me where it is, please. Please. I can't ask you no more. I'm not getting down when we go bend the music. Much longer, so yeah, tell him where your phone is, or he's gonna come at you. It's as simple as that. So what he wants to do to you, I'm gonna stand down between your mom and this. Just show them. Babe, show some respect, will you? Yeah, yeah. Show some respect for the family, will you, please? Show some respect. It's not their fault, it's his. You'll have a word with Hello? Did you see me? Babe, you put me up for something. I asked me when you go in. Can you see what you've done? Can you tell us like you've done now? How is it about, do you, why are you using the one of the police? And just ask where they are. Oh, can you help us? Uh, I don't think Honestly, don't. You don't. Nobody's that quick. I'm not going to be able to hold him much longer. I'm not going to be able to hold him much longer, I'm telling you. Sorry guys, had to put the phone down there obviously for obvious reasons. <coughs> uh, yeah, so the brother came down, obviously he wasn't best pleased, he's still not best pleased. We've calmed him down, we've got him in the house. Um, he's obviously not happy because his kids have been around him, so...
Taxis here. Yeah, so he's taxis here by the look of things. You're going nowhere, you stay right there. You're going, yeah, so the police are here. The police are here now, guys. Um, what we'll do is we'll, I'm gonna, my phone can't come off charge because it is gonna die. However, I will keep it on until the, the guest, two seconds. Just, just let you know the police are here. So, tell him to calm down. <coughs> it's gone to voicemail. You've destroyed your family, mate. Absolutely destroyed your family. The police are here now, love. And then we'll, then we'll pop in, okay? If that's all right, or we can just go. No, I don't think popped in. You've already popped in, no problem, we'll do that for you. Popped in, Alright, here's the police now, so... Mate, you. calm down, the police are here. Hello. Hello. Hi there, this is the guy here. Sean. Oh, <coughs> I got the fourth bank's mate, by any chance? Fourth bank, is that the closest one? Yeah, uh, I it's the only one. Is it? Right. Hey, well, we're gonna, we're gonna have a little chat with the family, then we'll pop in. Right, so you know why we're here? Yeah, alright. So at this time, Sean, you're under arrest and suspicion of grooming, alright? Do I'm saying that my home defence do not mention when questions and which are there and for? And it gives him maybe three levels. Your hand in front, yeah. Sean, do you have any issues? Yeah, what? Back it up. 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 Back Hello? His phone. Key to his bedroom? Apparently, he's got a key to his bedroom as well, that they want. Because he's not welcome back here. Who are you, mate? Sorry? Who am I? Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm part of the Jordy Chase, that's true. Alright. I'm going to have a quick word with the mum afterwards just to explain what's happening. Good morning, I haven't got your faces on and out like that. Can you have me You what? Your mum wants all this stuff. We'll do what happened in a minute because we'll have to just do a quick search. He's got a key. And then we'll obviously speak to mum and ask that mum and go from what's going to happen next. Alright? Right, we're going to put you in the van. Alright? There he is, guys. Away. Police are absolutely amazing again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the feed now, I'm going to have a word with the parents and um, then we're going to head down to the police station. Again, nobody touched this address um, uh, as the mother is absolutely amazing. Thanks guys, thanks for your support, give a like and a share, much love.